running analytics with RethinkDB is a lot of fun, uh, mostly because it feels like you're writing code. You're not writing database instructions or SQL or transformations in some business intelligence application. You're just composing a bunch of functions. Okay, well for this demo, we're going to do something a little bit more interesting. What I want to do is what's called a co-occurrence query. And the best way you can think of this is if you're shopping on Amazon and let's say you go to a product page and you look down below, right below the product fold, it says people who bought this also bought this other thing. That's called a co-occurrence query. So for any SKU that's in my database, what are the other SKUs that have been sold along with it? It sounds like it could be easy, but it's actually not. So I'm going to go a little bit faster for this demo. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to limit the results by 5,000 because there's a lot of stuff I need to do. And then I'm going to do a concat map and I'm going to bring up all of the items because I'm going to be working mostly with the items. So this will bring each item up as if it's its own document. My next step here is to shape the data that I need. I don't want to bring in anything that I don't. It's just going to save me some processing power. So let's map, and I'll map each item that is returned to us. And I'll just return the SKU and a count of one. For right now, that's all I am interested in is just the count of SKUs in our orders. There we go. Things are looking a bit better. Now let's group by ID. This is the critical piece. I want to group all of the albums sold by an order ID. That is going to give me the rollup that I want to see because remember, none of these counts make any sense unless I do it in the context of an individual invoice. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's ungroup and then run a filter. Now I need to ungroup to run a filter because I need to filter the actual array. I don't want to filter the group, that won't work. So here, I now have all the invoices that have album 10 as one of the items. I now have all the data that I need, and this is good news. What I don't need is I don't need that invoice information. I don't need the grouping. So let's get rid of the grouping. I just want to work with a reduction. But since I used ungroup above, I now I'm just working with a simple object with two keys, group and reduction, reduction being an array. That means I can use concatmap with it. And cat map to remind you, takes an embedded array and then elevates it up as if it was just a solid list of objects. And that's what I want to see because I can roll up on this now and get some very good results, which is going to be my next step. Let's group again, this time by SKU. And here we have another grouped stream. And now I can use one of RethinkDB's convenience reduction functions that's a mouthful, but I like it. And I can just sum up on the count. Man, we are almost there. Look at that. We have albums 101, da, 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 but this is sorted arbitrarily. It's not giving me the sort that I need. And for that, I'll need to ungroup again. <laughs> and then what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to ungroup and map. So in this case, I'll want to return. Ah, almost there. I'll want to return the skew. And this is going to be semi-final and the group itself. So I'll want to see that. But then also I'll put a key in here, sold with, and this is going to reach into the reduction, which is that guy there, and it's going to give me that number. So let's take a look at this. Good. Skew album 10, sold with. But we have album 10. I don't want album 10 in there. I want to remove album 10, so let's just return everything. <laughs> That's not album 10, and I do that using dot ne, not equal. And this is going to return everything that's not album 10 because it's going to confuse my results, right? So now we, we have some pretty good results. Let's order this, though, because we want to see it for in top-down order. So I'll say r.descending, sold with, we are done. Look at that. Album 248 is sold the most with album 10. Our co-occurrence query is complete. Now, you try and write this with SQL. It's not undoable, but... It usually involves a lot of really strange joins. Now, I'm not going to tell you that this was easy. However, the thing, as I keep saying with RethinkDB, is as you start writing this and you get to know these things, it becomes rather simple to figure out what you need to do next. If you know what concatmap does, you know what ungroup, what filter does, what map does, you can start throwing these things together, chaining them together to get the results that you want to see.